on last Saturday with Lynn Landgraf, with Eric and Helen Ann. We were working on the trail. And Lynn came up to me and said, Kenny, this is so great. Aren't you glad you came up with this idea for putting signs here? And I laughed at Lynn. And I shook my head and she said, well, why? And I said, Lynn, this wasn't my idea. And it was ironic that she thought it was, because in fact, the idea for signs at the lighthouse, 22 years ago, Walter, Walt Landgraf, called me up and said, got a phone call from Walter. You know how this went. Get, how you doing? Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> said, okay, Walter, what is it? And he suggested coming up here and putting signs around the lighthouse. His idea, by the way, Eric, is he volunteered you with your router. Let's get some scrap lumber, and we'll, we'll, we'll you know, we'll write in a couple of words, you know, quarry, uh, foundation, cemetery, and that'll be a great start. And I said, well, look, it's a great idea. Is it going to cost us any money? Will DP think it's okay? And we just sort of put it aside for a while. A couple of years later, I was actually giving a lecture about this site to a class from the University of Hartford. And I mentioned the possibility of putting signs up here. Kids ask, well, how do we know what's up there? I said, well, you know, Walt Landgraf is a local, local fellow, historian. Uh, he suggested putting some signs up there, but we don't have any, real, any money for it. The class at University of Hartford said, well, you let us know when you're getting ready to do that, because maybe we can raise some money for you. Well, that's great. I wrote that down. Totally forgot about it. Um, as you know, Walter passed away. Uh, Walter was my mentor, he was my colleague, and most importantly, he was my friend. And, and I think that this, the, the, the new trail and the signs here are a testament to Walter's foresight, because it was Walter who said to me more than 20 years ago, we really ought to make this place more accessible to people so that they walk through here, they know where they are, they know the importance of this. So, this is for Walter. I love the name of their organization, the Farmington River Coordinating Committee. How do you coordinate a river? I don't like that. But it was, I think it was Liz who came to, to Lynn and said, hey Lynn, we have some funding. Uh, would you uh, consider the possibility of putting some signs up at the site? And maybe we can fund it. And Lynn came to me and I said, this is amazing, perfect time, perfect place. Absolutely, let's do it. So they deserve, and I know we're gonna get them done here, but there are a lot of people to thank. Um, of course, the, the DEP guys, um, when you see the signs, all that, the, the framework was done by the DEP. It was done by, I think, Ed worked Ed on it. Yep. Uh, what's that last name? Ed, Ed Koslak built the signs up on the hill. Oh, and, um, beautiful job. Kyle Merkowitz actually built the signs. One of my seasonal employees and a very gifted, uh, very gifted oh, carpenter. Yeah, so they did a spectacular job. And